Okay then my friends, so I just wanted to do a little sidestep tutorial about Pinya's integration with Vue DevTools. So this is only going to be a short lesson, but I think knowing about Pinya in DevTools can be really useful to see how your state is being updated and read in real time when you're developing the application. So first things first, you need to have the Vue DevTools extension already added to your browser. For Chrome, you can get it from the Chrome Web Store. So I'll leave this link down below for you to install it. Now, once you have that installed, you should see in Chrome's DevTools, a tab called View. So click on this and here we'll have access to all of the View DevTools, including the Pinya plugin, which was automatically installed and integrated for us. So inside this View DevTools tab, the first thing I wanna do is click on this timeline icon right here. This timeline is going to show us any actions when they start and end and also provide details about what they did. So for example, adding a new task would trigger an action and that would show in the timeline. The same would be true for toggling a favorite or deleting a task. So let's start by adding one. So I'm just going to say something like make lunch and then hit add. And when you do that, you're going to see in the timeline three things appear. The start of the action, the mutation to the state, and the end of the action. If you click on the start, you can see the event details on the right. And in those details, we can see the store that was used, the action that started, and any arguments passed into that action. In our case, the argument would be an object which represents the new task, right? If we click on the mutation event, we can see the details about that, including the old value and the new value. And if you click on the end event, you're going to see event information for that as well. So it would be completely the same if we performed other actions like deleting tasks as well. So let me just delete the one I just created. And now we can see three similar events on the right in the dev tools, start and then the mutation set and then end. And same again, if I toggled a favorite, we'd see those three events and information about them on the right. So this is all pretty good for seeing when actions are called and how those mutations occur. Next, if we go to the inspector and then click this drop down where it says components and we can select Pinya. And this is gonna allow us to inspect any Pinya stores that we have and track the ongoing states. So on the left, we can see we have the task store selected and on the right, we can see the state and also any getters that we have. I'm just going to expand the tasks array so we can see each task. And then as we play around with the site and perform different actions, we're going to see any state updates on the right so that at any time we can inspect the state. And also it's going to update the return values for any of the getters as well. So all those values are going to update as we perform different actions on the site. Let's do a little demo of this by adding some random tasks. It doesn't really matter what they are. And as I do that, you can see the tasks being added to the live state preview on the right, which is nice. Also, if I perform actions which would alter any of the getter return values, then we'll see those update on the right as well. So let me just toggle some of the favorites. And as I do that, you can see the numbers changing on the right. So this is all keeping track as it should. And if we expand the faves getter, we can see exactly which tasks are in that array, which is awesome. So although it's not necessary to use the Pinya plugin for Vue DevTools, when you're using Pinya, it can be really helpful, especially when your applications become a little bit larger and you're working with more state. And I personally really enjoy using them.